Hey guys, this is Momolo here, uh, Duck of the Month time. So, Cody McGay, uh, get the shit going now. Cody McGay? Yeah, I just called it. That's what you're gonna call me? Yeah, McCody McGay. Alright, well, for Deck of the Month, what we got is, uh, Limit Reverse, uh, Debris Drandon. Um, Debris, uh, Dandy, what they, uh, call it over in Japan. Over in Japan, you know, it's just a standard Debris deck, but they basically play, uh, two Chaos Sorcerer, Tomato, uh, Gores, and Trigodia, and they play Limit Reverse and uh, for Decky Breaks, but they don't play in Kaisers or Book of Moons. So what we did was just made the same deck, but we put it back into our meta and we play Kaisers and Book of Moons. So let's start this off. Unfortunately, you know, we don't own Trigodia for some reason, so we're proxying <laughs> that one battle fader. That's Trigodia, so yeah. Alright, but you know, it's just a standard build, so blow up ball. Three right go. Uh, switch switch the kids around that like people can see you, man. Like, come on, this is bullshit. Magody McGay, come on. There you go. Like, put it in the middle, man. Dude, I'm lining it all up. So two dandelion. Okay. One spore. One plague. One card trooper. Two lone fire. One saying. Three debris dragon. Two Kaius, one Gores, you know, one, one Titanial, you know, basically a standard build. Big uh, booty bitch right there. Yeah, I hate that card. I draw it so much. It's ridiculous. I can see why people actually hate and love that card at the same time. But, um, you know, just a standard build, basically, you know, it's Japan build, just plays for Godia and Gores. It's the main difference in the monster lineup. Yep. Alright. Spells. Foolish Burial, best card ever. One MST, one Cold Wave, one One for One, one Monster Reborn, Charge, Mind Control, Dark Hole, Scapegoat, another good Yu Gi Oh! Crad, two Pot of Avarice, and of course Triple Book of Moon, a staple for this format. <coughs> Japan doesn't want it for some reason? Apparently not, I, have no, I don't understand why. And. The new card, Limit Reverse, which is technically called Limit Rebirth over in Japan. It's a ridiculous card. It has so many targets. Basically, the whole deck is a target. I mean, you have uh, Debris Dragon, Sangin. There you go. You have Lone Fire, Card Trooper, Plague, Spore, Dandelion, Raiko, which you never really target, uh, and Glow Up Ball. No, you could target it and then book a moon it. <laughs> <laughs> and you even have Formula Synchro, one of the best cards that's a target for it. Yeah. But two is just fine at the moment. Wait, it doesn't want pot? Wait, oh no, no, no. Yeah, man. I, uh, I'm facing out. And then uh, two Regeki Break. This is one of the greatest Yu Gi Oh crads ever. They actually play it over in Japan as well. It's better than Wing Blast, people. Yep. Shut down, shut up. Don't exactly. say, oh, play Wing Blast, go fuck yourself because. You know, Wing Blast case. is good for that one random yeah. beat of a dandelion or, uh, you know, a star tard. Yeah. But I'd rather have a Regeki break that actually destroys cards so I don't have to deal with it next turn. Yes. Because Japan people are like, hey, guess what? Let's no. not deal with that shit. I don't have to lady. deal with you know, your monster presence or your back row presence next turn again. Yeah. But uh, they play this over in Japan, and, uh, you know, I was thinking about it, and I realized it's potential what it can have over here. You know, basically, everybody's playing a debris, um, dandelion deck, or, you know, plant synchro. You're going to be seeing mirror matches all day, you know. I run this over Bombas because, you know, if they're going to go like a debris, get dandelion, they're going to go either go into a, a black rose. Or, you know, a Stardust Dragon. And in most situations, Bombless isn't going to do anything. I'm going to be actually able to destroy their Debris Dragon and stop their setups. But, um, <clears throat> other than that, what I do is if I play Glads or Blacklings, I'll side out the Rejecki Breaks and I'll go back into Bombless. It's actually a pretty good strategy. But for the rest of the traps, you know, we got Call of the Haunted, Torrential, Sound Warning, and Sound Judgment. Yep. Extra Duck. Pretty standard to formula synchron. Where's the second formula synchron? There it is. It is. <laughs> what the fuck? One armory arm, one cataster, 
one Brian Ack, one Iron Chain, one Yo Yo Watcher, two Black Rose, two Stardust Dragon, one Colossal, one Scrap Dragon, one Dragon Arch Fiend, Stewie Shooting Star Dragon. Big Ghost one. A ghost. Mm. Fucking Peggy. You know, and we have side deck, you know, it's all personal preference, but it's probably one of the best sides that we have for this deck. You know, one effect Baylor, two Snowman Eater, one of the best cards ever, two DD Crow, two Banisher Radiance, two Cyber Dragon, one My Body, two Bombless Trap Hole, two Malama Catastrophes, one of the best Yu Gi Oh! Crads ever, and then come Aerotech Fortress Dragon. Yep, you can side deck fusions in that uh, Tinkos now, just like you guys know. <laughs> Which has been going on for a long time. Well, people don't really realize that you could do that, just saying. I, I think see. most people do. Well, I, I don't know about that, man. Okay. Alright, so what's your input on the deck, buddy? What? What's your input on the deck? Well, it looks fun, and I'm probably going to play the Chaos Sorcerer one. Um, You're going to play the Chaos Sorcerer one? Yeah. Why are you going to play Chaos Sorcerer? Well, Chaos Sorcerer is the shit. Yeah, Kais is a lot better, this format, though. Yeah, I, I, I know that. Those Dandelions, yeah, those Raikou or Dark Soul players. Yeah, I, I know that, but... Okay, then what's your, what's your reason I, I'm going to change it up, man. <laughs> All right. Jeez. God. What? What? I'm just showing the fucking side deck, man. What? Oh, just asking for your input, buddy. Oh, well, the input is, uh, play the fucking deck, just saying. <laughs> Japan people just know what they're doing, and... But, uh, yeah. basically, deck is called Limit Rebirth, uh, Debris Dandy, over in Japan. I don't yeah. know who came up with the name for that. But, um, basically, this deck is, uh, is topping over Japan or winning every event. It's actually really good. I mean, Limit Reverse leaves you with so many plays and options, and it has so many targets within the deck, and then, you know, the Regeki break, you know, it's actually a really good idea for, like I was saying earlier, for the mirror match, for any setup that they're going to have, it's a lot better than Bombless, like, uh, you know, in most situations, you know, get Bombless, it actually can be dead, because you get that one turn late Bombless, and Regeki still be, be live, or I said, you know, they go Debris, get the dandelion, they're either going to go into Stardust or, you know, Black Rose or Scrap in most situations where Geki's going to stop the whole situation, Bombas isn't going to do anything. Yeah. And they got, like, comboed with Lemon Reverse a lot. Yeah. Like, I can see one, uh, Regeki with that, and you have, let's see, Regeki <coughs> break the backfield, uh, get, uh, Debris Dragon, make Scrap, uh, get, uh, make Scrap Dragon, with the one token on the field, you know. That then uh you bring back Dandy. Uh destroy Dandy if you want and shit. Or you could destroy the uh limit reverse, but you would probably destroy the uh Dandy before the limit reverse because then you have scrap dragon for a target. Uh well let's just show the combo to the guys. <coughs> like it's it's pretty good. It's pretty sexy. Alright, uh, what's the full combo? Uh, the scrap dragon guy. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So, basically, and my Geki. Here's my Geki. So basically, like, oh, this is your hand. Mm -hmm. This is already on the field. You set it, like, so it's just set to yeah. So right next to it. Yeah. Right, you know, go over Geki, destroy the back road, discard Dandy. Yep. Get two tokens. I mean, this is a pretty simple move. Go yeah. debris, get Dandy, sink. Uh, move, no, move one of those because you need an eight. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the field. Well, so this is kind of like... Sh -sh -sh. So you go strap, you know, you know, you can do anything you want. Yeah. You can pop off token, and then you can just... You can even, if you want to do, we go that, yeah. but... That gives you even five tokens for that. It's pretty good. Yeah. But and if you, like... There's so many combos with the fucking deck. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but most situations these days, you know, you don't get that combo. This deck has yeah. so many combos. I mean, 
I can see why people love and hate this card. At this point, we don't even go with this card anymore. What we'll do is basically like first turn if we feel like it, you know. We'll go Lone Fire. We'll get Dandelion. Then we'll Monster Reborn, Lone Fire. Or any combo, there's certain combos you can do it. You can get off second turn, whatever turn you want. You yeah. Like tribute. Or a limb reverse. Yeah. Well, this is what I'm leaning up to that. You know, you get two tokens. And then you go Lone Fire again, pop this off. You go Spore. This is what we're basically doing all day now, though. You go Spore, that formula. You don't draw a card. And then uh, you remove um, the Lone Fire. You go Spore. And you sync with a token, the Lone Fire. Make a level 8. And you oh, Stardust. Yeah. And you make a Shooting Star Dragon. Wow. Um, you can, but you wouldn't make it right away. And shooting Star Dragon for more or less smear matches isn't that great because of the main highest plays that you get. But some situations it is, some situations it isn't. But basically, you know, you go through all that. You've already gone through your Lone Fire, your Dandelion, your Spore, and everything. You know, you've already you're already leaning up to you know further plays on where uh, Limit Reverse gives you uh, more options to further on plays from that plus. You know. Card's just good in general. It leaves you so many options. You know, like we said, you know, main targets you have is Dandy. I mean, you even have Formula Synchron, Lone Fire, and other stuff like that. <laughs> but like we said, you know, it's topping over in Japan. Main decks that are winning order besides Black Wings and um, actually some absolute zero. Uh, the Breed Dragon decks are actually uh, topping over there now, too, from what I know. Yeah. And we might actually post one up. I don't know. Yeah. But like we said, you know, besides them playing Chaos or Sir, no Kaises and books, we basically main to our meta where we do play books and Kaises. Yeah. Decks good in general. You know, we're going to be playing it for the regionals coming up, Chicago past times. Um, well, if I go... And plus, you have to, like, get your job and shit. Yeah, well, i got to figure out my job. I should be able to go. You know... Nick, if you're watching this, you, you're taking me down the... I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, to be honest, nobody's actually even considered playing this in the meta yet. They're just playing all the standard. Yeah. But, we're taking the regionals. You know, it's a good deck in general. So, you know, that's all I got to say. What do you got to say, Josh? Uh, are you going to get you an invite this time? Just saying, man. I got ninth place at freaking Madison Regional. Yeah. With that random absolute zero deck that I came up with that... You know, randomly at the last second, yeah. push it to its full limits. I got ninth place, but it was only top eight in yeah. so I didn't get it. Yeah, I got top eight, just to let you guys know that. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I got second to his and shit. Yeah, X Sabres Wild Cat was still alive. What a guess. Hey, guess what? I didn't use Cat like all day long, just saying. Okay. I used it once that whole day. Shut down. Gosh, I, I don't even care if you're like. Pro Winster Am Corn. I still don't <laughs> believe you who said that. Dude, I, I'm telling you, I didn't use that cat that much. Sure, whatever. But, you know, you're off top subject, so. Okay, whatever. That That's old news. I got my invite. Who gives a fuck? Um, but he doesn't, though. Oh, yeah. Just I just want to say this. Our buddy Dustin Daniels. We, you know, we've, we've been to every single Nats each year, all of our group. But Dustin, the first one, um, the 2009 Nationals, Dark Strike Eric, he got 42nd place, but he still got his invite that day. Yeah, that, that was kind of... Completely hilarious. Then, what was, uh... This year's man? No, last year's man. Yeah. What? M remember he fucking, uh, played that one... Geez, not easy, but, uh, fucking... Who, who the hell is that guy? It was, this, it was this year's man, by the way. Yeah, this year's. Um... I actually can't remember his name. It's like some like so-called pro player, and he paid him like 150. Uh, 147 because he didn't have the. Yeah, out. yeah, dude. So if Dustin get uh his invite this year, we gonna ask the guy for the three bucks. So just letting him know, you see all people, three bucks, and it's probably like uh, interest now. So it's probably gonna be like at least a hundred. <laughs> mm. Just letting you know. Uh, who was it? God. I was, I'm going to say this right now. You're pushing this video way too far. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's, it's like what we get. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mumolo out. Uh, that's the deck profile for, uh, what is this? We both of Dandy line. Debris Dandy. That's what yeah. they call it over in, um, in Japan. But, you know, I just call it um, 
the breeze limit is endless. So okay, that that's pretty corny. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Adam Corn. Uh, fuck you. Uh, yeah. What the fuck was that? I, I don't know. Well, I I don't know. I'm putting this up.